Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let me turn that music on down. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Welcome to another Mentorship Monday. Tonight we've got a very interesting topic. This is one of those very rare days for me, but we need to talk about them. I had a red day today, folks, so we're going to talk about the red day, how it happened, why it happened, talk about the psychological components of things going on today. I'm going to show you guys some of the technicals that kind of led me into those and all that in between. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes from today. Algobox was definitely not to blame today. This was on me. I'm going to show you why. But before we do that, of course, make sure you follow us over here on Facebook. Skip on the Twitter. Find us over here on Parlor now, And, of course, here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you make sure you get notified. And this is our Discord chat. So if you are wondering how to learn the strategies you're going to see here tonight where we did do quite well and then ended up with a red day, let's stay tuned. Let's talk about it right now. Alrighty then, let's come on down here to our training window, and I'm just going to show you guys the charts, show you where things kind of got awry. The thing that I want to focus in here tonight, if you hear this, you're taking notes, number one thing, follow the rules. Let the tools do the work. Do not supersede those rules, folks. Even if you are me, Vinny e Mini, today I made mistakes. Now, let's go back to Friday. On Friday, we had, let's talk about the psychological things going on in, in my head from last week. Okay, here we're, I'll call this the, the red list. All right, I should have done this in red, but here it is. All right, some of the things that contributed to my thoughts as I kind of went through today and look back, like what was going on, okay? Last week was part of the problem. We had a killer week last week. Okay, the VIX up, ticks up. This leads to overconfidence, right? So if I'm gonna come in here, I'll put this. I mean, we had an absolutely killer week last week. We were hitting bonus days almost every day last week, over 4K days. Uh, some of those double and triple that. Huge, huge days last week, particularly even on Friday. I mean, I almost felt like an you know unstoppable beast. Uh, whoops, <laughs> sorry, wrong button, folks. Let me come back down here. I forget about forgot about when I hit the dash button that comes up. Um, you know, last week just absolutely killer, even on Friday, and that's kind of rare. Normally on a Friday, it's going to be a little bit of a story. It almost felt invincible after coming back from last week, right? So, what have I told you guys before about those rules? Fear and greed need to be in balance. So my fear was almost gone. Okay, my greed level is like way up there. We are absolutely killing it right now. The VIX level is high. We've got the post-election movement that we're getting here. We've got all kinds of things that are contributing to what feels like an ability to just basically be unstoppable with our tools. Okay, so that was going on um now it's it's monday and uh, what's going on in my head okay this is um mentally troubled okay I, i'm just doing a, a personal assessment in my um if i do a dash maybe if i do this one that one will do it. okay so what is going on uh the the whole election stealing thing has really bothered me if you guys haven't seen the videos go check some of those out i mean it is oh I'm driving myself crazy with watching these videos. Like the 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 nerve of the fact that I mean these this is supposed to be these are adults. These are adults in the United States of America Fidelity robbing Commodore people alert. blind Fidelity in this Commodore election. Alert. This whole mail in ballot baloney sausage. I mean I just watched a guy posted you guys a video from Instagram where this guy is literally sitting there going, Oh, oh we get these oh, oh this one says Trump or <laughs> rips it, throws it behind him. He's going through these opening up the ballots before they get in putting them back in if they are Democrat and tossing them out if they're Republican and this can't be the only guy doing this. This is just, oh my word. Anyhow, mentally troubled today. Again, um, so I was, I'm playing, look, I've, I've almost, uh, I've turned off Fox News recently. Fox News has gone off the rails, right? I'm watching some Newsmax TV to watch a the only legit program at this point where they're gonna continue to follow this whole path until it is completed. Um, you know, I, I just, my mind is is a wreck. So I'm recognizing these two factors and that wasn't helpful. Then let's talk about the technicals. All right, um, there were technicals going on and this had to be, some of it was straight up tough, okay? But rules, okay? The rules still would have saved my butt had I 
follow the rules, and you guys are going to see some of that. We'll focus in mainly on that because I think you guys can understand the whole kill a week thing. I think you guys can understand the mental trouble thing, whether you're having personal issues with your family or friends or spouse. Um, these things can plague into you where you're either you just get into this mindset of like, ah, I'm just going to try it anyway. Like sometimes you just do that. That was me. I could just feel it today. I'm like, ah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. And then you get a little bit of a, oh, I'm not going to let that get away. Hold on. I'll just going to, I'm going to add to this position. Literally did that twice today. And then the thing pulls down, you know, I still end up like I closed out before 15 ticks, but I let it go all the way to a full 15 ticks several times on multi-contract trades and started to really eat in um, and just was not in a good place okay so let's go into those places and see some of the technicals but I also want to start uh, sorry not start but back to the start on the very first one here um, the fear and greed need to be in balance so my greed was way up but remember back to backs so you will have some of your best days followed by your worst and vice versa a worst day like one of your worst days is gonna be followed up by a very good day and but that's only if you keep that mentality so uh, last week was huge and killer. This week may be tough. I mean, we've been having this absolute, you know, candy handing out to us. We've had um, the earnings reports weeks. We're done with the earnings reports now. I mean, there's a few stragglers still coming in, but nothing like those huge numbers of earnings reports that were coming out the last two weeks, and we were absolutely smashing it. That didn't carry through into today, and I got hung up. So that's there, and here we go. So the rest of the week here, I'm hoping for tomorrow to just hand out some candy on uh, on this part. So maybe not the tough day tomorrow. Hopefully this should yield a candy day tomorrow. All right, what's our expectation? Now, I'm gonna say I could tell this is pretty much just me. Now, if anybody else wants to put in the comments, if you had a tough day today as well, put them down in the comments down below. Um, but I actually noticed most of the people in our room, if you go back and look at the stats from today, everybody was kind of still killing it. I, I felt bad because I'm, I'm the only idiot who was playing this around in, in my, I think my issue too was around the lunch time. The lunch thing got me pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's get into some of the technicals. Um, this, uh, this was one of the trades. I'll come, this one was uh, sequentially later. So I'm going to go to, uh, zoom into our Mac V chart. Okay. This is, let's go to yellow here. This is our Mac V chart, and let's go to around noon-ish when uh, when I was taking the majority of, of my trades when I started in today. And again, other things with family stuff. I, I started late. I did not get the morning session at all. So I'm trading the beast mode hour. So I'm expecting that there is a pretty good turning point that we've caught, and it looked pretty good. Here is what this looked like right here. So we've got, there's the 11 o'clock to 11.30. So we get a you know, perfect little turning point, right? This is what we were looking for. This is beast mode hour. If you guys don't know about that, go check out beast mode video. Okay, we call it the beast mode hour or hours because technically eh, it's a few, okay? But right here, we get that massive turning point and oftentimes we'll just see some continuation and go, go, go. This is my expectation and I never let go of my expectation, okay? I just kind of went for it that direction at first now again my my high point of the day i think i was up twenty twenty eight hundred dollars on the day which is a pretty good day pretty good day not too bad at all um to be up twenty eight hundred but right about here this is where um i uh i really screwed the pooch let's uh let's zoom into this part here just a little bit okay now mind you i could not see the right side of the chart this looked like like this at the time Okay, not knowing what was happening here, okay? But we've got the big turning points, big green turning points, moving up and up. Now, we had just gone Mac V red. Let's zoom into this a little farther even. Okay, so what, what should our rules tell me if I have gone from red, and these are barely eight bars between here and here, gone green, that green. Now mind you, at the time, it was, uh, it was pretty, it was longs favorable at this time. And so I've got longs favorable and I got a green dot coming in right here on that red dot, okay? Now, I didn't get in on that one. So I was like, nope, let me see if that one plays. Okay, well, it held, okay? It held, and again, these are 13 ticks per bar, so we kind of start to chuck a chuck of here. So I'm looking for a long, okay? I'll be honest, even though I shouldn't have been, right? Because it's a red. So I get this second green dot right here, and I go for it, okay? I go I go in here because I am, I'm looking at, you see that right there? That is a double dot. Right, you see that green? You guys can see the double dot. It's a double dot. I'm looking for the double dot long. What's the problem, folks? What's, what's my issue? What's the rule? All right, rules, Vinny. Okay. The Mac V is telling me this is a no play here. All right, and I was just, uh, I was cocky. I went ahead, and, and again, so, so what? I should have stopped out after this broke, right? No big deal. Should have stopped out right here. 
Um, I ended up getting a full stop out on 15 ticks. I ended up adding to it and like right underneath it as we came back up again. I thought, okay, here we go. We'll start to take this off right here. So I added to that position. Here it comes up. Nope. Here we go back down. Boom. So basically stopping out two times, I am now basically up like 200 bucks. I've basically blown my entire 2800 because I started, I was pretty excited about this entry here. I thought this was going to be a nice big little leg up here and we start to get going. Again, my anticipation was improper. I took a great entry, but poor execution. And I end up taking two bigger losses than I should. Those should have been minor losses, but instead I end up going into the negative. Now, when this red dot shows up, what I should have been doing already, right? If I had been counting up my, my eight bars and not having taken this one, if I skip on this one, do you guys see how beautiful this would have been had I just waited? Okay, this is what I wanna talk about here on our Mentorship Monday is how dumb it was of me to just break the rules because right here this and now sometimes this pays off so that's why i mean that's why i did it okay and again overconfidence but still dumb okay because look let's just see what happens if i just follow the rules instead we go mac v red at this time the time here too by the way look at the time we're around like one o'clock so the beast mode hour is over at this point but i've still got beast mode hour in my brain so my technicals that i have screwed up on this, uh, uh, can you guys see the time down here? It might be a little too Fidel, small. Fidel, Fidel, I think you might, Fidel, might be able to see that. Okay. Alert. Um, there's 12:30, but here where the double dots are, this is pushing into like 1:15. The beast mode hour is till one o'clock, folks. It's till one. So I should have already known that this turning point thing that had occurred here could have been done. It happened from 11:30 to one o'clock. It was perfect. Perfect, folks. It was absolutely perfect. If you follow our rules, so folks, my my reiteration of this is just follow the rules and learn from my mistake from today. Yeah. So I let this double dot basically just take my mental capacity. Um, was kind of frustrated by that. This red dot, I was like, ah, oh, here we go. This is going to break. In fact, I thought this was going to break so much. Alert. I went ahead and towed in the water long right here, which <laughs> how dumb is that? Okay. How dumb is that? I thought this was going to be a fake out. So I tow in the water long right here. How dumb is that? How dumb? How dumb is that? Real dumb. Okay. Um, I end up adding to the position right down here because it looks like, oh, okay, we're going to go. Um, this was a little one tick wonder. Okay, we got this one right here. And I'm like, oh, here we go. We'll make a double. And then we'll end up doing like one of these. Dumb. Dumb. Because even on that, this should have stopped out. Anyhow, added to position. And I take another two full stop outs. Now I'm in red territory. Okay. So this thing starts to go down. Now we kind of come in here and we get this red dot. And I'm thinking, okay, well, at this point, now we're definitely looking, looking like we're pretty short. But I'm not just going to just jump into that. So I'm going to wait for... A nice little pullback first before I start to get short. So I do get short right here. I make some up. Okay, I'm back into positive territory. Well, now we go back to green and I'm like, oh yeah. And I do not know why, folks. I was just on the green money train here today. So I'm all like, all right, looking for the long setup somewhere in here. Um, I just get totally twisted up in here. Okay, I'm starting to hold a big position. I basically don't even, I, I just, I don't even doubt myself. I'm like, all right, here we go. Where This is going to be the one. This was dumb, just absolutely dumb. I'm mad at myself for doing this today. Broken rules all over the place. And again, I I could zoom back down into the algo bars where I was taking those entries long and there were good setups here, but I was literally holding out. Like I didn't take any target ones. I'm literally holding out for like a 20, 25 tick trade, which again, last week was paying off big time. I mean, we were hitting them left and freaking right last week, but this was a massive turning point today. Look at the, this is the daily bar from today, folks. That is a big red bar drop down, and here's the overnight right now. And by the way, you should have noticed this was a gap. This is a gapper right here. So you've got the gap fill um, that just completed here tonight. And uh, yeah, just just dumb, just really dumb. Not that we have to know any of this, by the way. We don't have to, if you don't know what this is or whatever, don't worry about it, don't sweat it. It really actually does not matter. Um, so holy shnikes. Sorry, Remo. Oh man, I just saw Remo. Uh, one of our guys in our room is supposed to... Uh, alert. Oh man. Fidel lead color dog alert. That's no fun, man. Um man, this is a bad day. A red truck, red day. And Republican Reds are just not not doing too well right now with all this stuff. Man, I just that's depressing. It's a tough day, folks. I, I don't know, man. Um sorry, Remo Bro. Um hope you're hope you're doing alright. He said everybody, nobody got hurt, but his truck is toast. That's a beautiful truck, man. Love me some Ford. Um okay, so back to it. Uh, anyhow, red day got crushed here. Um so, and then I just, I got on the wrong side of it. And then when this thing started to happen, like this was, I was like, oh, that's too deep. And I just waited, didn't take this one. Now we start to look back and I, so I go ahead and take this as a shark back. Okay. So shark back, 
I'm like, oh cool, we got a shark back, right? Here's our shark. Great, this will be a low heat trade. Enter in right here, get long. Okay, where's my stop out? Well, need to stop out right here, right? So first time, sure enough, yep, got stopped out. Goes up though, so I get mad. I'm like, God bless it. So I get long. So I'm looking for the big hold to get up and out of here. I do have target one here, finally, because at this point, I'm like, I'll take a target one right here. But look, it didn't go there by a tick. Folks, sometimes this happens, okay? Sometimes you'll feel like, dude, the market's got you, you know, locked in here. Missed my target by like a tick. And I'm talking about target one, okay? So I've, I'm basically about to have to take another full stop as we come back down here. But it comes back and we start to move up. So I add to position. Add right here, okay? This is textbook. Still should be good. Play on a shark back, but what do we got, right? What's this? That's Mac V red, right? At this point, we're past eight bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would have been fine right here to go ahead and take this, right? But here, no way. We're red, okay? So I'm adding to it. It's just dumb. Just dumb. Dumb. Do I get back to target one? Nope. So this thing breaks out, busts down, and I end up, rather than going ahead and stopping out right here, I decide that I'm going to pull out and I'm just going to leave it at 15 ticks. So I lose another 15 ticks on this one rather than stop out because again another another uh just frustration out of frustration i don't stop out right there where i'm supposed to okay because again entries where are the entries at right here right here that's fine okay so this should be a little tiny stop right a little tiny stop uh but no instead um you know i'm taking a full 15 tick stop and so yeah fantastic vinny great great freaking work bro and this thing just drops out um Audio box was helping. I mean, this thing, once it started drilling down, um, I did catch a little bit on these, but I was not getting heavy enough at this point because I, I had been getting into full positions going long up here. So I caught a little bit of this dropout. There was no entry point for me to take it, but the audio box was like, duh, 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 duh. so we, we got some of that. So we get the double dot green dot, but at this point, this looks like Christmas. So I don't take this double dot green, right? Now the double dot works, right? Nice, <laughs> nice, what a bit of nice. Double dot trade there, um, but I did not take it. And just, um, yeah, and we're close to the end of the day at this point as well. So, yeah, it was just, um, it was a bummer. Bummer of a day. Um, so, yeah, th just Fidelity follow the rules, alert. folks. That is that is the name of the game. I wanted to keep this Fidelity video short. Colored if you guys have any questions on this, I will post my performance report from today in the premium member stack. Go If you guys want to go check that out, make sure you are following us there on Discord. Remember, Discord is the location for that. Let me, I've got two minutes till the 20 minute mark here. So let's just go ahead and finish this out. Um, if you have not been into our free audio room section, go check it out. Go, uh, you can try it out for two weeks. See it for yourself. Download the entire setup and suite. Uh, of our tools and I know we kind of focused in on the Mac V chart that is not where all of the fun action happens we did have some pretty neat trades oh here is another one that I lost on um, today so this was the this is the spot here where the green dot showed up right there and that, that green dot ended up breaking as well I thought oh great here we go we got, but you know should I trade a dot alone no really shouldn't have we did have the Mac V going along with this but at this point it was shorts favorable and I take a green dot you know it's 310 in the afternoon just you know another, another little loss another alert. six um six contracts 15 you know that's it's just it's a bunny um uh, bummer um was this one from yeah so this was one little minor winner from today look these are some of our easier trades so those of you guys who are coming here for the first time it's not all doom and gloom it, usually we've got some pretty easy setups here is what a normal shark looks like Easy entry right there. Boom, target one, easy one right there off of that shark pack on the Algobar ones. Um, this one I did hit at some point today. This is one of those ones that was kind of the easy one that got me up over two grand today. So look, we've got cluster star, uh, cluster crosses one up to two, right? Right here, easy entry to get long on this as this is longs favorable. We break through this area. We go long, where's our target? We are looking, first of all, we had target one right here and then we finish off as we see the next series of crosses and we see this quite often. When you see, this is that Flowmaster double move play. So you get the cross set right here. If you get a double cross right there, assume we are not coming back down. Assume that we are going to have a double move. What's the double move? From here to here? Oops, that's pretty messy. Do that in orange here. The move from here to here should be double that move from there to there. Okay, so 
Um, that was an easy one, and uh, there are quite a few others. If you want to go check out um, the stats from the other members today, they had some great trades in the room. I was just, I was just off and uh, was not in the proper mindset. Uh, I'm looking to come back tomorrow and um, be pretty pumped up, looking for a candy day. Usually after a tough day, we're going to be followed up by very simple days and algo box. Pretty much like even today, technically. Would have been a lot easier. Um, I was just, uh, I was in the wrong spot. Let me look at the big time frame. Oh, this is the other thing. So on the big time frame on the 89, this was a big shift change um, from today. And it just, it just got me. I mean, this, um, we've been seeing continuations, continuation, continuations. Um, we've got, you know, green dot long up in here. And, you know, I just didn't think that we were going to, I figured we'd come up here and see this one more time before we kind of went down, but no, this was the moment. We touched the top, and you can see it from a technical standpoint afterwards, you know, hindsight being 2020, very easy to see um, that that could have occurred. But yeah, I mean, that uh, that drop off just um, was not anticipating it. Most of my trades was uh, looking for the longs. We had longs favorable most of the most of the day and just happened to be that shift at one o'clock and the um, the end of that move was there and we literally had a V down day with a gigantic red bar and that one ate me up. So red day. If you guys got questions on any of that, if I can answer any questions, put it down in the comments down below and I would appreciate it. I will uh, answer those in the next video. I'll try to do a few of those uh, videos here this week and we'll try to cover some topics. So put those over there in the ask any questions section. If you've not been in our discord, of course, if you want to look and learn some of the strategies that we've got, there's the audio room. If you want to learn the strategies themselves, this is available in the free section. You come check it out in the education section here with the two fingers, the harmonic dots. The Flowmaster, if you guys don't know what that is, there are there's a three-part training you guys can go check out. All of that is free. So come on by, come hang out with us. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out for me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. Let's send out that big H Town. See ya.